What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, in this video, I'm going to be making a start on the Overwatch origin stories. So basically, over the past seven or eight weeks, I went through the animated shorts playlist. I've watched all of them now. I actually watched the most recent one, that would have been Wednesday last week, which was Zero Hour, which was, on a side note, absolutely amazing. Now, in that video, I mentioned that the next thing I will be doing will be watching the origin stories. Hopefully, it should flush out some more of the back backstories of the actual characters in Overwatch, and just in, just in general, give me a better understanding of the Overwatch history and lore. So, here we are. This is the first one. This one is called King's Row Uprising. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it into three separate parts in this video. I'm going to watch the actual video itself, the origin story. I'm then gonna tie that in with the actual comic. I know there's some Overwatch interactive comics, so I'm gonna tie the comic in with that as well. And then I'm gonna watch a gameplay trailer for one of the characters. So, for example, for this one, I'm going to also watch the Uprising comic, and then I'm going to watch some gameplay trailer for Tracer as well. Um, one last thing I will say as well as before I start the video is I'm going to try and get it in some kind of chronological order Try being the highlighted word. No doubt I'm going to probably get this all messed up But I'm going to try and get it in some kind of chronological order as well So wish me luck. So um, yeah without further ado, let's get into the video 20 years after we won the war against the Omnics, we were no closer to living together in peace 20 years the building of a new home for the Omnix in London was supposed to be the first step in improving human-robot relations. But it never had a chance. The Omnic extremist group, Null Sector, launched a surprise attack on King's Row. Hundreds were killed, and thousands more were displaced as they took control. Now, they are hunting down the last of the survivors. It could be the beginning of a new war between humans and Omnics. Unless we can stop them. Commander Morrison has sent our strike team to liberate the city. It's my first mission, and the only way to save my home. I hope we're not too late. Nice, nice. That's good, that's good. Okay, so my initial thoughts on this is, I love how it shows that within the Omnics, like, um machines there's extremist groups so that she mentioned they didn't share the extremist group null sector now they were the ones that i saw in zero hour as well so i like that kind of ties in and interestingly it mentioned this was 20 years after the initial war there was still no peace and i like how it shows that this is tracer's first mission that last shot you got there don't you it's her first mission and you see her with um there's reinhard there's mercy there's um, Soldier 76, and I forgot the name of the other guy, the Swedish guy as well. And this is obviously kicking off the beginning, at least hopefully for me, of the origin stories. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna watch the actual Uprising comic, and hopefully that should fill in some of the gaps in this video as well. So, let's go. Wow. How cool is that? I like that. Right, okay. So first thing, hopefully the sound isn't too loud. Hopefully my voice is coming across quite clear on the mic. Um, sound is a little bit loud actually, isn't it? Mm. Anyways, hopefully this should fill in some of the gaps from the origin story as well. So let's go. London, England. Right, okay. Null Sector is holding, I'm not gonna try and pronounce that name, and 100 prisoners in the power plant. It's all walled off. You want in, you're going to need to blow open the doors. Now, is that McCree? I think that's, yeah, I think that's McCree. That's assuming you can get past their air defenses. <laughs> Whoa. Got you. Nice. Overwatch headquarters in Switzerland. So I know two of the three characters here. Um, this guy here is Soldier 76 and this is Reaper or um, Gabriel Reyes. I don't know who this character is uh, yet. I'll call you back. Things are getting a little dicey here. McCree out. What's McCree doing in London, Gabriel? Good question. Looks like he's investigating the situation on the ground. Oh. What I mean to say was, Gabriel, what is McCree doing in a place where Overwatch is not supposed to be operating when he and the rest of Blackwatch are suspended? <laughs> Vacation. <laughs> in London? 
Jesse Mc... Gabe, anything else you're not telling me? Any other assets you have lurking around? Hmm. Nothing you need to know about. That's reassuring. I want to know how Null Sector caught us so off guard. We've always had a blind spot when it comes to the Omnix. Null Sector has been around for a while, but they've been underground. They say they're fighting for Omnix rights, but they're extremists. They'll do whatever it takes. That's crazy, that. I think that's crazy how you can have extremely. They've got Omnic extremists. Uh, yeah, I love it. They're not extremists, Gabriel. Okay, fair enough. They're terrorists. Okay, can't argue with that. Call them what they want. They have support, especially when you consider how people treat Omnics in the UK. Omnics build their cities and do the jobs humans didn't want to do. In return, no rights and no citizenship. Reminds me a little bit of the beginnings of. Um, of the matrix you know basically we build the machines and then after a while the machines think well we don't need you humans apart from batteries anyway what did we expect the manga the magna carta was written a thousand years ago hmm. commander morrison prior to communication from downing street send it through prime minister's not bugging we are still not authorized to operate in england can't be serious. <laughs> Sounds like the Brits have the situation under control. Ever the hero, Gabriel. <laughs> I'm not one with the statue. So I have Dr. Petrus on the line. Have him hold. I'll take the call in my office. You think we should get involved? I didn't say that, but it but in the end it should be our choice <laughs> your choice we've been taking a lot of heat lately I'm not sure of what can afford another public relations nightmare that doesn't mean we shouldn't do something so I think this is the character here in it this is what she's called oh this is I, I, I presume it, Captain Anna Amari that's what she's called okay Okay. Better not keep the director waiting, Jack. I could always delegate the task to you. <laughs> and I thought you liked me. <laughs> I changed my mind. Okay. Oh, oh, Overwatch training and evaluation. So it's Genji versus Tracer. And we have in the background Mercy and Winston. Come on. So this is cool, actually, because it, this looks like he's he isn't fully suited up yet so maybe he's still um being like healed so to speak and this is tracer i think how is she doing unfortunately we don't know too much about her condition but assuming she doesn't experience any setbacks i think she's fit for active duty we will need to continue monitoring her to see how she copes so i presume this is tracer Turns out time tra travel isn't an exact science, is it, Winston? Problems? No. Well, nothing too serious, uh, sir. In the context of someone who can get lost in time, what does nothing too serious mean, Winston? Just a few reliability issues to work out, sir. <laughs> oh. It's like Morpheus. Cool. Cool. Not bad, not bad. Has there been any update on the situation in London, Commander? Nothing good. The Prime Minister has expressly forbidden us from intervening. He's a fool then. How many thousands in King's Row are in need of medical aid? What happens when Nulsetter takes more of the city? I'll be I'll be Egypt all over. It'll be Egypt all over again, and we don't have the resources to deal with another human humanitarian crisis. Right? Okay. I wonder what went on in Egypt then. Hmm. I'll have to look that up. This is what Overwatch was made for. Instead of wasting time sitting on the sidelines, we could be saving lives. I don't disagree, Doctor, but my hands are tied. Well, that's not good enough, Jack, and a lot of people are going to die. 
I know Dr. Ziegler. Tell Uxton I'd like to speak with her when she's finished here. These animations are cool. I like it. These are cool comics. Yeah. So, Lena Oxton is here. Or oh, Lena. Send her in. Oh, that's a real name. Ah, right. Okay, so she's called Lena. You were to see me, sir. That didn't take long. I'm not sure if you've heard, but I'm very quick, sir. <laughs> I know. I watched your training session today. Most people in your position would have given up after the accident, but you've stuck with it. I'm impressed. I want to discuss your desire to be prompt, promoted to active duty, as you, as you know, I have concerns. Hmm, sir, is that London? I have to know why. I have to know why haven't we gotten involved yet? There's nothing to be done. Is your prime minister infinite wisdom? He's decided to we're not wanted here. Hmm. Bad call. But they need our help, sir. I've seen the news. There's no reason to think that a few more weeks will change anything. By then, Madonna and all the other hostages could be dead. And if we don't do something, it'll only be the beginning. No sector is no sectors in the heart of London. In a month, they'll undone all the progress we've made and destroyed thousands of years of our history. So, do you know why I stuck with this? Why I decided to leave? the flight test program and begin training as an overwatch agent it's because i believe that if i could figure out this out i could be an asset i could make this world a better place fair enough i fought to survive and i'm willing to fight for the world too i might be out of line sir but i won't apologize Ballsy. i remember when the crisis broke out across america it's why i enlisted and why I signed up for the enhancement program. Yeah, so I believe he, Morrison, he is one of 76, or he's the 76 um, person in America who signed up for this enhancement program. Um, and I think Reyes was 24, the 24th member. Um. Hmm, flashback. They were willing to try anything. Commander Reyes and I, well, they tried everything. But politics, mismanagement, egos, at the end of the day, Overwatch was the only way to win that war, but we had to be given a chance. You still have one, sir. Let's go. Thank you, Oxton. That will be all. Hmm. Thinking about it. Director Petras is insisting on speaking with you, sir. Very well. Put him through. Actually, tell him I'll call him back. Only the three of us, huh? Just like the old days. Jack must be feeling nostalgic. <laughs> were the old days, were the old ones these days, my friend? The commander's been under a lot of stress lately. His decision making has been interesting. Any idea why, what changed his mind? A fresh perspective. Hey, well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> Kid at Exton reporting for duty. Basically, what the? Hmm, looks like the cavalry's here. All right, okay, okay. My name, my name's Oxton. Good for you. I'll be on the ship. What's his problem? I wouldn't take it personally. He's always like that. The commander told me to keep an eye on you. We've. We've invested a great deal in your career after all. Think he likes you. Me? He said you were very persuasive. Hmm. There's a lot of people depending on us, Lena. Just call for help if you need me. <laughs> Welcome to the team, Brookie. Reinhard. <laughs> the cavalry's here. Not bad. So I think now we know how she got her title or why she talks about that all the time. The cavalry's here. Um, it was mentioned when in the first cinematic and also in Zero Hour as well. Not half bad. <laughs> there we go. 
go. Right, that's the end. Nice. Okay, so if I go back here, this ties in nicely, doesn't it? With the actual end shot. Let's get to it here. This one here. This shot here. So this shot here ties in nicely with the last shot in the actual um, origin story as well, where you've got all the characters waiting to be dropped um, to obviously defend London. Um, so no, that was cool. That was cool. I think that's the end there. Yeah, that was cool. I was really impressed with that interactive comic. And just as I thought it would, it nicely ties in with the um, the actual origin video as well. So you can see, obviously, the comic sets up for the events that you see in the origin video. It shows Tracer, it shows how she obviously develops, and it shows her setting up for her first mission as well, with a couple of other characters in there as well. So I thought that was really, really cool. I think I'm going to actually do this going forward as well. I'm going to try and tie in a comic with the, an actual origin story. So, like I said right at the beginning, the last thing I'm going to be doing now is watching a gameplay, um, actual character trailer as well. So, I'm going to be watching this one on Tracer, since obviously the origin story kind of revolved around her and the comic revolved around her as well. So yeah, let's get into that. Cheers, love! The cavalry's here! <laughs> Cheers, love! Wow! Rapid. Oh, cool. I like that. Yeah. Let's try that again. Oh. Huh. Recall. Wow, back in time. Bombs away. <laughs> Poor oh, Widowmaker. Wow, wow. Okay, that's cool. I really like how it shows, obviously, all of her abilities and skills as well, all of her perks. Um, and overall, I think I might have mentioned this before in a previous Overwatch video, I really like her abilities. So she really reminds me, she's very similar to Lucian in... League of Legends, and he's one of my favourite characters as well. You know, he has the two guns, she has the two guns. He can do this thing that I almost call like like face shifting, and she can face shift as well. She can also kind of go back in time as well, which is even even more impressive. I just really like that vibe. I, I like them abilities, and I've got a sneaky feeling that if I was ever to play this game, she would be one of the first characters that I chose as well. So yeah, I like actually how it showed obviously her abilities and skills. Um, no, that was cool. That was good. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave here today, guys, on this one. Hopefully you enjoyed my mashup of these three videos in one. Um, I actually think it kind of works. You know, I've got the, the comic, I've got the origins, and then some gameplay of one of them characters as well. For me, I think it kind of works. Hopefully you guys agree. Uh, and yeah, feel free to like, comment, and also subscribe if you like this video. Like I said at the beginning, I will be going through in chronological order, and I will be continuing with this theme. Uh, and also, if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell icon. Bell icon. Sound like Tracer now. Don't forget to hit that bell icon, and I will see you guys in the next one.